Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix your IP config problems. Um, this is good for like RuneScape private servers or anything you're gonna need IPs or to look at any of that information. And this will also fix other problems you may have with your command prompt. So we're gonna go ahead and do IP config. This is your typical error. IP is not recognized as uh, internal or external command, operatable program, or batch file. So that just means your environmental variables are set up. Same with a RuneScape private server. If you have this problem, it's because your environmental variables aren't right. All right, so you're gonna go to, we're gonna go ahead and find our path because environmental variables pretty much tell your computer where to go. And we're gonna tell it to go to the IP config. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the computer. You're gonna go to your C drive, your Windows 7 or whatever you may have. Um, you're gonna go down to Windows. You're gonna go all the way down to system 32 files and this is what you're gonna be copying right here c dot dot slash forward slash windows forward slash system 32 copy let me see if I can find IP config for you guys you can always search it but let me see this is just showing you that it tells you it tells it to come here this is why it's such a big deal right here see IP config dot exe See, did you guys see it pop up there? Uh, never mind, I'm not gonna mess it up. I would edit it and have it pause, but see, right there it is. So, you're pretty much telling your computer to come to System32 and use any of these files here. And that's a lot of files, so I feel uh, that's gonna solve any problems that you may have for other things as well as your IP config. All right, so you guys copy this address here that we just made. If you don't know, then just uh, copy it off mine. It's your Windows System32 files. And we're going to start computer system properties right there and then over here on your left side is advanced system settings click that let's go to environmental variables all right and this i don't even think you need this okay don't worry about that actually that's a very different thing go to your path which is the only thing you need edit it i have runescape private server stuff here Okay, the semicolons break it up where it won't mess anything up. Like if I have this and I just start another one, that, that'll mess it up. That's, that's not good to do. You have to have the semicolon right there. There you go. So I just put that in there with the semicolon. So if you have anything there that's not your Windows System32 file, then go ahead and leave it. Just put a semicolon like I did right there and then type in what we just put. Click OK and then click OK. And then this will bring it all into effect. Why is my audacity up? My bad. Click OK, blah, blah, blah. Get out of there. Now you're going to go to your command prompt, which I drag mine down there. You guys can do that. Or you type in CMD. And then you can drag it down there if you'd like. Like, see, like that. But I'm going to leave that there. And you just type in IP config. Boom, there it is. So that's how you do it. It's a pretty simple video, guys. Um. Hope I could help you guys out with this little problem, and I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye.